Bobby Fish, Kyle O'Reilly and Adam Cole Bebe have reunited as the original trio that was the Undisputed Era now in AEW. And I cannot be any more excited. We've only seen a small glimpse of the Undisputed Era against the Elite, but it's brewing, it's teasing, and I am very hyped. And so with that being said, I thought, what kind of video can I make to celebrate my excitement with AEW, with the Undisputed Era reuniting? Let's go ahead and put Undisputed Era in AEW, in WWE 2K Universe mode for one calendar year and see what happens. What are we going to see in 2022? And so with that being said, without any more further ado, it is time for things to get undisputed. And so most of you already know the drill. We're back here in WWE 2K Universe mode where once again we're on AEW Dynamite to begin this simulation. I was so excited. And I'm even more excited by the fact the first show here in May, in week one, we've got CM Punk against Daniel Bri uh, Brian Daniels. I criticized JR for doing that and I just did it myself. Okay, okay, fair enough. I'm sorry. Let me try that again. Let's uh, take, take. <sighs> When you see the Christmas tree in the background and you're watching this video seeing me make all these little mistakes, you think, oh, this guy's had a little too much of the bubbly. No, I just, there was this one incident back in school where this bully slammed my head against a tree and I think I haven't been the same since. But nevertheless, let's move on anyway to week one where CM Punk has beaten Brian Danielson, um, Bobby Fish and Kyle O'Reilly, of course, Redragon, uh, Undisputed Era, will bounce between the names, they're everything. They've already made multiple nods to the whole Undisputed thing on AEW TV, the Redragon thing. Thing is probably what they'll go back to because that's the indie that you know the drill regardless of whatever you want to call them they are in a feud now with jungle boy and luchasaurus the jurassic express and they lost the first match which was a ladder match by the way oh my god a two-on-two -two ladder match with these four people i would love to see it but yeah i'm so happy that redragon are back together by the way when kyle showed up i was just like yes it's happening and shout out to bobby fish he's been killing it as well like i wasn't sure what was going to happen to him after you know the unispeed era split and everything he was kind of like the lost dog um but yeah now it's roderick strong so, you know, Roderick, come join us when you're Although ready. Although I'm pretty sure Roderick Strong re-signed. But anyway, uh, I can't, we don't really need to focus on the irrelevant parts of the card. We're here to see how the Undisputed Era do in the next calendar year. Hang that on a page to beat Kenny Omega. That's interesting. He's the world champion, by the way. For those of you that may be curious at the start of this simulation, here are the champions. you got Hang that on a page, Sammy Guevara, the Lucha Brothers, and Dr. Britt Baker, DMD. And also, by the way, as we enter week two here, we're kind of working under the assumption that the Undisputed Era, they're not completely uncool with uh, the Elite, but they've kind of split it off kind of what they're, they're hinting at in real life you know where adam cole's kind of like oh yeah these are my boys sorry books you you killed me a couple years ago literally whatever they're gonna do anyway i'm very excited to see it but either way uh jungle boy and luchasaurus have beaten the butcher and the blade interesting right there okay and this is even more interesting brian danielson and adam cole have teamed up to defeat the team of dog gallows and carl anderson the good brothers what? Sorry, okay, let me just look at the rest of the card. Okay, let me look at news. What is going on here? Um, okay, so Brian Danielson and Adam Cole are now in a rivalry. Interesting. Bobby Fish and Kyle O'Reilly have taken their rivalry to a personal level after attacking the Jurassic Express. Okay. I'm clearly rooting for my boys in the Undisputed Era, all right? That I want these guys to win championships. I want Adam Cole to be AW champion. I want to see the visual of, uh, you know, the Redragon as tag team champions as well. By the way, similar to how I did in the Bray Wyatt um, A, W simulation. I am going to be like actually watching a match towards the end of this one, which is kind of why I'm skipping through these cards because you don't want to see cards the whole video. You want to see me watch a match. A little bit of a different match here on this episode of Dynamite where Bobby Fish has beaten Jungle Boy. Okay, great to see that Bobby Fish is doing his thing. Adam Cole with Matt Jackson in his corner this time. Interesting that the Elite is slowly sneaking their way back at Adam Cole's corner. Are they trying to manipulate Adam Cole right there? But either way, he beats Brian Danielson. That's great to see. Once again, Matt Jackson is in the corner of Adam Cole as Adam Cole beats Malachi Black, Bobby Fish beats Jungle Boy. Okay, the boys are doing their thing. Throw it up for the Undisputed Era because AEW is now Undisputed, baby. I wonder what they're going to call them, by the way. Is it going to be the Undisputed Elite? Is it going to be like as on the nose as that? Or are they going to come up with a new name? I don't know. We'll see. Either way, I'm, I'm excited. I know I've said it like 80 times in this video, but you know. I'm, I'm excited. And I just simulated ahead here about a month. We're now midway through July and Jungle Boy and Luchasaurus still have the number of Bobby Fish and Kyle O'Reilly, which is insane because Bobby Fish and Kyle O'Reilly are such a decorated tag team, such a great tag team, and yet they can't get the job done, but Adam Cole, baby, can get the job done. It feels weird considering what happens in the MCU with Dante Fennel and Adam Cole to be rooting for Adam Cole, but I love him. There's a reason he's been featured so much on this channel because he's the guy. And in case in the future this is going to be used to cancel me because Adam Cole did something awful 
I take that back. Jungle Boy and Luchasaurus delivered a counter-attack of their own on their enemies Bobby Fish and Kyle O'Reilly, and Adam Cole has defeated Brian Danielson in their big match, and as we know from Universe Mode history, when it's that blue background, the feud is over, so suck on that Brian Danielson. And I'm looking at this card right here, yeah, this is the first card. Uh, okay, so the Young Bucks were in the main event against FTR, the world has rejoiced, the wrestling world, but um, no undisputed error on this entire card. Interesting. I guess Tony's giving them a giving them a little bit of a break. We're transitioning on a little bit. Bobby Fish has lost in a singles match to Jungle Boy. For some reason, the tag team feud is still ongoing right here, which I'm sure they're putting on banging matches, so I get it. But uh, Adam Cole has now gone back to being a manager. Wow. How, how poetic that is, <laughs> considering, you know, if you know, you know. Somewhere Vince McMahon is seeing this exact graphic right here, and he's like, ha ha ha. Sucks to be you, pal. Ooh, look at this. Bobby Fish and Kyle O'Reilly beat Jungle Boy and Luchasaurus. The full, when the full UE is out there, it's game over. And this is one of those things that you just love to see. The Jurassic Express go ahead and lose in the blow-off between them and Redragon in another ladder match. And in the main event, Hangman Adam Page is still the AEW World Champion. Okay, Hangman. Okay. So what I've gone ahead and done now is simulated ahead here in Oli Wrestling about six weeks towards the end of September and we have a pretty interesting card on our hands because Redragon aka the Undisputed Era's Bobby Fish and Kyle O'Reilly are taking on Leo Rush and Dante Martin who of course turned on Team Taz and now they're back together so you know even though Dante's not the best uh Dante in AEW he's trying his best you know uh top fly uh inhuman uh you may be all cool right now, but step into the ring with the real Dante and we'll see what happens, alright mate? And of course, just as I say that, Leo Rush and Dante Martin have beaten Bobby Fish and Kyle O'Reilly. Is this an age thing? Is WWE 2K discriminating against Bobby Fish because he's in his mid-40s? Because that's some bullshit. That man is in prime physical condition. He's in prime condition right now. And Kyle O'Reilly, well, what's the uh, expression they were using for him on AEW? The violent artist? You're telling me they can't beat these two jabronis? Ah, oh, forget about it. This game is so rich. You know, if I didn't know any better, I'd think every match in AEW was rigged. This is a bunch of BS. But anyway, moving on to this disgusting act. Joey Janela beat Sammy Guevara, who's still the TNT champion, right? Yeah, he's still the TNT champion. Uh, CM Punk won a random fatal four-way right there with that. Absolute loser stinker, Peter Avalon. Uh, Cody Rhodes beats Brian Cage, and Kenny Omega beats Adam Cole in the main event. Great. Good night for the Undisputed Era, guys. We're now midway through October here on AEW Dynamite, where Big Swan and Ruby Soho are back in action. Okay, you got Ricky Starks, who's back. Uh, uh, Bobby Fish and Kyle O'Reilly have beaten Leo Rush and Dante Martin, and Hangman Adam Page has beaten Kenny Omega again. Good card. Good card. Oh, this is exactly who I want to see. I love Miro. I like Sean Spears, but Miro... Oh, he lost. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, okay, never mind. Uh, Jade Cargill's here. Big Swole. Oh my god, they're switching up the card now. There's a bit of a rotation going, and it's like a new era just began here in AEW. Sammy Guevara gets Darby Allen. Okay, this happened again. Adam Cole, baby! <laughs> And that wasn't just anybody that Adam Cole pinned, by the way. That was the AEW World Champion Hangman and Paige Riho is back. Wow, there's a women's evolution going on right now. They're putting in all the talented women, uh, talented women on AEW. Chris Jericho is back as well to lose to Sean Spears. This is a bunch of BS. I don't believe in wrestling. Uh, Brian Cage has been Adam Cole. Okay, but kind of a good matchup. I kind of like what I'm seeing here. And I bet that anxious millennial cowboy Hangman and Paige had something to do with this, didn't he? Yeah, okay. Okay, this is where things get really confusing for me. The Bunny, Anna J, and Ruby Soho are in a triple threat. All normal, you know, women's evolution. I'm enjoying it. That's that's a great women's match right there. Great triple threat. And then there's this. Big Swall, Chris Statlander, and Fuego Del Sol. Intergender wrestling in AEW confirmed? This right here is exactly what I want to see, baby, because Adam Cole has earned himself an AEW World Championship match against Hangman Adam Page. We're going to go ahead and simulate and watch this one unfold. It is time to crown a new Undisputed Champion, baby. Oh my god. It, these simulations are so much more fun when I get to watch the matches. I don't know why I didn't start doing this sooner. Look at this. Oh god. Adam Cole, baby! And you know, for once, him actually doing this still in his entrance makes a lot of sense in this simulation. Look at that. Adam Cole, baby! 
Sorry, don't mind me. Cut to the next clip. I'm just going to continue rocking out to this amazing thing. And uh, you may notice there's now a table in play. It's also an Extreme Rules match because the game said so and I said, okay, fine. Hangman Adam Page. Oh my God. Big super kick there by the AEW World Champion. The anxious millennial cowboy looking to pull away Adam Cole, but Adam Cole said no, no. With that nice counter Irish whip and what is Cole thinking? He ain't even taken off his jacket. And that's the disrespect that he puts on the name of Hangman Adam Page. He doesn't even need to take off his coat. Well, maybe it's the fact that I still have his entrance attire modded for his main attire for promos and stuff, and that's the case for the MCU. I'll let you be the judge. Oh my god, what are we about to see here? Holy! <gasps> Good god almighty, they're brawling into the crowd, King! Oh my goodness me. <laughs> Imagine this being your front row experience. You just saw a man get impaled on the barricade. A-E-Dub! A-E-Dub! You know these fans would be shut! Hey! Is this an extreme rules match or I'm trying to kill a motherfucker match? Oh my goodness me, this man Hangman Adam Page is a maniac. No, not on the thumbtacks, not the dead eye on the thumbtacks. <laughs> oh my god, oh my god. Um, you see my hands, right? If look, no hands. They are beating the hell out of each other. This is the CPU doing this, but you'd think it was me orchestrating the match. I literally just did something like this with the Eddie Kingston and Dante Inferno in the AW2K Micro Universe a couple weeks ago. You know, in the hardcore match, and now, oh my god, Adam Cole, <gasps> he's about to do it. Oh, I shot. No, no, the computer doesn't normally, normally go down to one, but oh my god, it's about to happen. Adam Cole is AEW World Ch the boom! Look at this once again! Oh my god, they must have had to call an audible right there, as they say in the business. They had to they had to take him home early after Adam Cole dropped Hangman on the top of that barricade. He might have split his head open, gave him a concussion, gave him CTE. I don't know. Whatever he did, Hangman Adam Page has just been jobbed out to be honest after one last shot adam cole is your new undisputed aw world champion baby look at this he didn't even have to take his jacket off that ladies and gentlemen is undisputed you know i want to be more bummed about the fact that leo rush and dante martin are still being redragging here in late january but it's been weeks adam cole's on his vacation he hasn't even bothered to show up because he doesn't need to he's champion now he's done it all he's won it all he doesn't need to show up for your dynamite all right tony and so adam cole's just out there chilling somewhere taking a nice vacation probably with brit as well because brit hasn't even been on aw in however but long. the question is now that adam cole is the aw world champion can redragon go ahead and win the tag team championships will the undisputed era hold all the aw gold by the end of this simulation there are plenty of questions still to be answered but one question that does not need to be answered anymore is what happens between wardlow and maxwell jacob friedman clearly they have split up finally and uh, mjf is still winning and unlike the undisputed errors bobby fish and kyle o'reilly okay brilliant the bunny and anna j in the main event you know what i'm not really supposed to do this in these aw simulations but i'm take i'm just just for a second we're going to wwe and i just want to see what's going on over here at the Royal Rumble. Becky Lynch is champion. Okay. I've got to speak quietly. I can't let Tony Khan know I'm doing this. Jeff Hardy's back. That's a great IC title feud. Matt Riddle is United States champion. Okay. Drew McIntyre. That's... Oh, my God. Uh, Brock Lesnar lost to Roman Reigns. Okay. Shinsuke won the Royal Rumble again. And there's no women's Royal Rumble. Wow. Oh, my God. Please, no. No. Okay. You know what? I'm happy to see that John Moxley is back. He's on the cover of AEW Dynamite, but considering who's the world champion, I'm I'm worried. Because if we're facing Moxley, Adam Cole gets Moxley. Great feud. One I'd love to see when he comes back and I wish him the best as he recovers. But this is bad. This might smell the end for Adam Cole's world title raid, please. Please no. No, Moxley, go after anyone else. You can be in the main event. You just came back. I'm, I'm excited. I'm a big Moxley fan. I, I, I love him. But not not against my undisputed boy. No. Please. Wardlow was destroying Matt Seidel. Probably 80 power bombs in that match. Lance Archer beats Dustin Rhodes. I feel like I'm counting down to my death. Dr. Britt Baker, DMD, has been Thunder Rosa. Sammy Guevara has been Darby Allen. And John Moxley has been Adam Cole. <laughs> Yeah, we're fucked. The reason I say we're fucked is because just imagine the crowd reaction that Moxley's gonna get in real life and imagine the crowd reaction he got for his return in this simulation in February. Oh my god. Oh, it's over. It's 
Wait a minute. Oh, they, they got the boys teaming up against the private party. I like that match. I like that. Can they coexist? No, they can't. But they can. They won. But, you know, they ripped each other's heads off after the match. And now you want to talk about Shot Clock Cheese, John Moxley against Adam Cole in a no holds barred AEW Championship match in literally the last week of this simulation. Are we about to lose this championship right at the end here? Uh, I'm ending the video if so. It's been a great simulation, you know. Adam Cole won the world title, but there's no Moxley. Do we watch this match? Do we? Oh, uh, oh we have to watch it. We've got to watch it. We've got to see this. And so here we are now. Adam Cole against John Moxley for the AW World Championship. One year in AEW for the Undisputed Era. Tag team wise, not amazing. But Adam Cole won the world championship. And now he's, he's potentially going to lose to Moxley right at the end here. But right now it's looking good for Adam Cole. He's doing his thing, baby. I didn't even talk about because it's not really part of this Undisputed Era simulation, but Britt Baker retained her championship against Thunder Rosa earlier tonight, so surely that's a good omen for the Cole household. Listen, Moxley, I'm happy you came back from rehabilitation. You've got an amazing family at home, but you can't beat Adam Cole, baby. It's not happening. I just can't see this, but it is no holds barred, and Moxley knows a thing or two about no holds barred, but Adam Cole does as well. He won the next three rules match, you know, to win that title. Let's go, Adam. Wait a second, Adam Cole's about to go for it. Drops him like a stack of dimes. Here we go. It's over. Referee count. One, two. Oh my goodness me. He's going for it. He's going for it. He's going for it. The last shot by Adam Cole. Nobody gets out the way of it. No one has. No one ever will. Oh, but he kicks out of it much better than that Jabroni Cowboy Hangman Adam Page. Come on, Adam. It's a no holds barred match. Go get a steel chair. Beat the hell out of this man. Stop glowing and retain your time. Oh no, not the cocky cover. Ooh, I thought he had it there. Oh, Cole's not playing any games that I believe. Oh, was that a signature attempt right there? Is Moxley? No, wait. <gasps> no. <gasps> Paradigm shift. No, not like this. No, the Paradigm shift by Moxley. John Moxley. Oh, he's not a two-time champion yet. Oh, no. Here comes John Moxley with that little comeback sequence. Moxley bounce off the second rope. Oh, no. Here we go. He connects with it. Flush and the Bulldog to boot. Oh, Moxley. Moxley might be about to become AW World Champion once again in his career. He's going to go for that Fisherman Suplex. This might be it. <gasps> Wait, Adam Cole. Oh, what a counter by Adam Cole. The Panama City Playboy is so smart. Smart, but damn it, it's not to be. Oh, he goes for another cradle. It's genius. Here we go. He doesn't even need Bobby or Kyle to get the job done. You know, this has been like the least violent no holds barred match I've ever seen in my life. But in terms of a wrestling match, this has been very entertaining. I'm very uh, entertained here. I was going to say sports entertained, but we don't do that shit over here, right? Look at that Moxley with a big suplex. Oh, God. I'm sorry if this video is going longer than uh, usual for these simulations, but I'm I'm not cutting any of this. This is as intense as it gets right now. We are down to the wire here at AEW. The world is watching. Moxley trying to win back his title against Adam Cole. It is big. Don't end it like this. No, please. This CPU does this all the time. Big oh. forearm there. Big forearm. Okay, Adam, let's go. No, Moxley. That's a low blow. Referee. Are you telling me? Can I get an action replay right there? Was that not a low blow? Was that not below the belt? Oh, no, no, no. Oh, he ended it on a fisherman suplex. Moxley is AEW World Champion again. And look at that, by the way. Even my camera turned off at some point right there. I only just noticed, so I'm sorry however long it's been off. But either way, John Moxley is once again AEW World Champion. Yeah, great job. Whatever. We're all happy for you. The Unispirit Era had a great simulation. Adam Cole's the best. <sighs> Thanks for watching.